What TV show's intro song is an absolute banger? What are some unspoken rules in the gym? What makes you instantly hate someone if they tear down other people to make themselves feel better? Impoliteness. If you can't treat people with basic decency, I want nothing to do with you. People who act nice when alone with me, but when they're in a group, act like they're all that. Same goes for acting nice when others are around, then acting irritated when I'm alone with them. Hate when people are two-sided. Me sharing something with you, then you spreading it to others. The worst part is that if you know me, I'm an open book. I would rather tell people the truth of whatever subject than have it spread and be wrapped into something incorrectly. When they film themselves giving to home for their socials. Yeah, the instant you pull a camera out before giving money or food to a homeless person, that means you're not doing it selflessly. Being cruel or mean to an animal. Pretty unforgivable activities, I'd say. What is something you're certain people only pretend to like? Boss's jokes. <laughs> Good one, boss. <laughs> Just laugh, he's gonna fire us. Unsolicited advice. Like, if I'm not asking for help, do not try and tell me things. Maintaining a LinkedIn. That site has become worse than Facebook, but is still a requirement in the professional field. Makes me sick. It's a requirement? If anything, it's an afterthought to me. Small talk in the nail salon. I'm sure some people like it. Instagram reels. You don't need to throw reels in there. Everyone's just pretending to like Instagram. Yeezys. I think maybe there's one design that's cool. Other than that, they are shoes, y'all. Fondant. If you don't know what it is, then good. I can't say I've ever had a cake with fondant on it, but I'm sure it tastes awful. Everything that people do because others do it. Small talk. This is big talking here. God, this thread is just full of miserable bastards. Welcome to Reddit. What should people be more afraid of? Poor sleep. People like to joke about it, but conditions like sleep apnea and such have been shown to potentially remove years off one's life expectancy. Poor sleep is really not good. Antibiotic resistance. I didn't know that was a thing, so I guess I gotta Google. How much sugar is added to our diet? This is really only a concern of Americans. Underwater currents. It can turn bad really fast. Driving. That's the only reason I'm a really good driver is because I'm terrified of everyone else, so I'm very defensive. Social media. I guess I understand. Like, it is a dangerous place. Falling cupboards and TV sets. Seriously make sure your kids don't get killed by furniture falling over. When I was younger, I used to climb on my TV set and it fell on me three times. My parents never learned and neither did I. Procrastination. Yes, but it's not that urgent, so we could deal with that in the future. Shia LaBeouf running on all fours. Oh God, he's right behind you. What is a food that you like that other people hate? Broccoli. I don't get why people dislike it. I can get not liking it if it's raw, but when properly seasoned and cooked, it's amazing, even on its own. This thread made me realize that I'll eat f***ing anything. Bunch of goddamn garbage disposals. Same. It's literally just making me hungry. Coleslaw gets a lot of hate. I enjoy it. I've never had it, so I don't know. What is it, just like a salad in a cup? Waiting for that one person who likes durian. I know you're out there. I love durian. Got them. Black olives. There's a running joke in my family about how much I love black olives. Every Christmas, I get a can in my stocking. One from everyone. I always finish them within the week. I can tolerate black olives on, like, pizza, but on their own? I don't know. I love eating straight-up raw radishes. A little lime juice on it. It's so good. Raw spinach. I can just eat it by the fistful. Okay, Popeye, calm down. Blue cheeses. Wait, there are multiple cheeses that are blue? Tuna straight out the can. I can go without it, thanks. Those soft orange circus peanut candies. Aren't those like marshmallows or something? Beets! And oysters. Not together. I would surely hope not. Sardines. Anchovies. Is there a difference? I, I didn't know that. Not sure if it's food, but black licorice jelly beans. I love these! Mm, sorry, straight to jail. Black licorice anything, no thanks. What's the most useless thing you still have memorized? The landline phone number to my childhood home. Yeah, unfortunately my memory dumped that a few years ago. P. Sherman, 42 Wallaby Way, Sydney. I mean, you gotta remember that. You owned your car for four years. You named him Brad. You loved Brad, but then you totaled him. You two had been through everything together. Two boyfriends, three jobs. You're like, nothing can replace Brad. I still remember the number plate of a car that drove through a puddle and splashed water on my friend and I when driving by when we were walking home from school in CA 1989. We were around 12 years old. We memorized it because we wanted to report the driver. We never did. I recently used a lookup service for fun to see if the number plate slash car is still in use. And it is. A red Volvo
Volvo 240 Gi. The current owner is the third owner though, so not the same driver. In the second grade, we heard a story about a child who fell into a well, but his brother couldn't save him because it took too long for him to recite his brother's ridiculously lengthy name when he tried to tell an adult what happened. The boy who fell in the well was named, but I can't remember what the lesson of the story was. Tiki Tiki Tembo no Sarembo Charibari Ruchi Pip Peri Pembo. Was scrolling for this answer because it was mine. Wasn't the other brother named Chen? I have no memory of ever hearing this story, but somehow I knew the rhythm slash cadence that you recite this name at when you tell the story, and that's going to bother me. Personally, I hate this. <laughs> I hate this. I, I hated saying it. I don't know if I said it right. I don't know. It's a little late, but I believe it is too appropriate. Blueberries have the barcode 85661200010. A gallon of store brand whole milk costs 4141500163. Although I cashier, I have no reason to recall either of these items. R1, R2, L1, R2, left, down, right, up, left, down, right, up, 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 down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A, select, start, also known as the code. Uh, it's actually called the Konami code, but also, <laughs> screw Konami. What song became annoying because it was too overplayed? In 98, when Armageddon was released, the two local pop stations around me heavily rotated, I don't want to miss a thing. The same with My Heart Will Go On the year prior. I don't so much mind Celine Dion, but even almost 25 years later, I get annoyed when I hear that damn Aerosmith ballad. Happy by Pharrell never fails to annoy me. The Why You Gotta Be So Rude song by Magic. Lyrically, the story of the song just sounds like he's whining. I don't, I don't know. Shape of You by Ed Sheeran. Anything Ed Sheeran is overplayed, I think. Metallica is my favorite band in the world, but I have to skip Enter Sandman whenever it comes on. I've just heard it so many times, as well as the song Sad But True. I've Got a Feeling by the Black Eyed Peas. Couldn't escape that song no matter how hard you tried. Thunder by Imagine Dragons. Again, any Imagine Dragons song overplayed. Dance Monkey. If I ever have to hear that one again, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Watermelon Sugar or whatever that song is that's talking about eat cake by the ocean. Why would you do that on the ocean though? Like the sand would just like you start crunching. 2016, I absolutely went mad every time I heard work, work, work coming out of Rihanna's godforsaken mouth. She's cool minus that damn song. Yeah, definitely an L in the discography, I'd say. Definitely Royals. To the point that I think Lord lost potential fans over it. There was a point where you couldn't get some people to check out Pure Heroin or Melodrama because people were so over Royals. Seabat. I can still feel the beat Hey There Delilah by Plain White Tees. I definitely ruined this song for my brother when I was super young because I would play it non-stop on my iPod, so eh, yeah. All I Want for Christmas is You. Be warned, she's free. Don't Stop Believin' by Journey. Adam Sandler's bedtime stories just ruined this song. What is hard about dating you? I overthink everything and I'm literally crazy. <laughs> Sorry. I'm anxious. I mean, who isn't, though? I can be really moody and sometimes cut myself off from contact with people for weeks at a time. It's tough to explain sometimes. I'm used to being alone, so my first instinct isn't to check up on others to see if they're okay. I'm really depressed and I can't hide it well at all. Well, you shouldn't be trying to hide it. I'm a homebody. I like being at home, just chilling and watching TV, reading, music, or playing games on my phone. I have chronic pain issues. I work with otters. I'm sure otters like you. Why is that a bad thing. <laughs> that doesn't sound bad. I'm pretty much okay with being single, so you have to work pretty hard on adding value. What show is a 10 out of 10 to you? Chernobyl 2019. I heard really good things, but I don't have HBO, so uh-oh. Band of Brothers. Band of Brothers. The only thing I know about that show is that my roommate liked to watch it very loud, and we were, we were upstairs neighbors, and I was so scared for the people beneath us. How it's made. Oh, 100%. It's such an easy watch, and that intro song, like, boom, Six Feet Under. This one might have been a little bit before my time. Faulty Towers. Oh, it's British? No wonder I don't know that. Better Call Saul. Then I guess I better start watching the show. It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. It's just, it's so funny. Black Mirror. 10 out of 10, I'm not sure, just since some episodes don't quite hit, but it's still an interesting format. Breaking Bad. Look, if they dumped Marie and just didn't have her as a character, then it would be 10 out of 10. Flea bag. I actually just finished watching it and oh, 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 oh my god, you need to watch this gosh darn show.
Bruno, I tell you what. If brunch is between breakfast and lunch, what is between lunch and dinner? I used to call it liner, but that was also when I was like eight. Snack. Hey, that's what they called me back at the frat. <laughs> Whoa. Afternoon tea. Then dinner. Then supper. Liner. I always say liner. Same. It sounds weird in my head. It's kind of weird to say, too. Mental breakdown. Coffee time. Coffee plus biscuits or a piece of pound cake. Coffee before dinner? I, I don't know. Dunch. Interesting. I haven't thought of flipping the liner situation around, so I, I like the effort. I'm sad for all of you who aren't Spanish. In this regard, before someone starts hating. Or Portuguese. Lanche or Miranda. What was the worst film you ever watched? Dragon Ball Evolution. It's so upsetting to see that movie. The Emoji Movie stole a piece of my soul. The worst film was Sausage Party. Laughs in Dutch dad joke. Oh, I get it. Oh, come on. Sex in the City. Two hours of 40-something women whining like they are 16. Wonder Woman 84. Kinda disappointing, because I thought the first one was pretty good, but then I saw all the reviews of 84, and I was like, oh, no. The Room. Best worst movie ever. Movie 43. I only remember a couple bits from that movie, but it's like, eh. Probably Suicide Squad. I'm not really that big into comic book stuff, but I put it on in a hotel while away for business, and it was just awful. I'm hard-pressed to think of a worse movie right now. Fifty Shades of Black. Oh, is that just a spoof movie? Oh, gosh. What quote from a movie tells you what movie it is immediately? I see dead people. I mean, that could be any zombie movie. I'm having an old friend for dinner. Oh, Hannibal, you crazy goofball. Surprise nobody said the obvious yet. The first rule of Fight Club is, you do not talk about Fight Club. But what movie is it? I, I don't know. I'll be back. I do wish they didn't make the new Terminator movies, because they just don't punch as good. My name's Forrest. Forrest Gump. So what is that, big? Run, Forrest, run! Um, I've never seen a movie where a forest could run, so <laughs> next. You're a wizard, Harry. I'm a what? What's your most gatekeeping culinary opinion? If you change a recipe when you make it, you're not allowed to rate it in the reviews without making the original. Nothing worse than someone rambling about the 14 changes they made to a recipe and then giving it a three star. My friend was in Maine, stopped at a place, and their chicken parm was chicken nuggets with ketchup and American cheese. If he told me the name, I would Molotov cocktail that place so that culinary abomination could never be made there again. I can't believe they were trying to pass that off as chicken parm. Are you joking? Burning doesn't make it Cajun. There's no way people are trying to pass off burnt food as Cajun food. If you don't allow chicken to brown when you're pan frying it, just don't. If your Middle Eastern slash Mediterranean place serves bad or bland hummus, I'm not even going to bother with the rest of your menu. If you can't get the basics right, don't waste my time. Wash your filthy hands. I don't want food poisoning again. Also, if you use a glass cutting board, we can't be friends. Celery is not just as good when used as replacement for onion, Will. You fucking monster. Seems like there's some history to that one. Freshly ground black pepper is so much better than pre-ground, like the stuff in shakers at restaurants. I've done many of barbecue contests back home in Texas. The best wood to use, in my opinion, is pecan. While recipes are useful, folks should prioritize why things work in a recipe over just memorizing a recipe. That's actually a good tip. I should probably think about that. MSG makes average food delicious and takes delicious food over the top. It's not real gatekeeping unless it comes from the gate region of France. Otherwise, it's sparkling opinions. Most recipes you find online use way too little spices. One teaspoon of cumin? Unless it's a meal for one, GTFO. Which famous person's death made you the saddest? Steve Irwin, Grant Imahara. Oh my god, I forgot about that. Oh no, oh, come on. Alan Rickman, Robin Williams, Carrie Fisher, Chadwick Boseman, Black Panther. That guy was suffering from stomach cancer while making the Marvel movies, among other ones. He never said anything public about it. He got up and went to work every day. Some celebrities break a nail and be posting all over social media. Truly a man dedicated to his craft, and it's so sad to see him gone so soon. Alan Rickman, David Bowie. I didn't expect it to be a gut punch, but it was. Heath Ledger, Chris Cornell, so talented and emotionally powerful. Norm Macdonald, such a unique comedian that I don't know if we'll really see another one like him. Freddie Mercury, I was a big fan back then. What famous person is actually pretty talentless? Jersey Shore shaped a generation and the only thing they did was get drunk and tan. They also did laundry, to be fair, and went to the gym. If anything, the laundry is the most surprising part of that. Most TikTokers like Addison Rae, 
Ray, etc. Also, her acting sucks. I cringed so hard in He's All That. Never watching another Addison Ray movie again. I didn't even watch because I'd get secondhand embarrassment, LMAO. Pretty much most influencers. That's the funny part. They can't influence me if I don't like them. DJ Khaled. He does nothing. Doesn't make the beats. Can't rap. Can't DJ. Useless. We the best music! Another one. DJ Khaled! Everything with a Kardashian in the name. I think Robert Kardashian was a competent lawyer. Those TikTokers that have almost 100 million followers for f***ing dancing. I mean, hey, don't rag on dancers because dancing is really cool. Kylie Jenner. Still no idea what she does or like how she's famous other than being kind of related to the Kardashians. Like what? what's the deal? DJ Khaled. It feels like he's a make-a-wish kid and the whole world is playing along. Steven Seagal. I mean, he has enough talent to make movies to cast himself in, but I mean, that's as far as it goes because the movies are not talented. James Corden. Massively unfunny and after he left a league of their own, it got so much better. Anyone that gets fame from being on those shows like Big Brother, etc. Haven't seen Big Brother, but the amount of skill needed to win Survivor is quite high. You have to get people on your side to stab people in the back, but then make the backstabbees root for you. Dear Redditors, what is a common belief that just simply isn't true? That getting a raise and going to a new tax bracket will cost you money. People don't understand that income rates only apply once that level of income is attained. If you shave your beard, it will grow faster. I don't know why people were lying to me, because I kept shaving when I was younger and it took me years to grow anything. My favorite moment was when I heard, however, after going two weeks without eating, you feel fantastic when you resume eating after the cleanse. That's because you're eating food again. That's why. You shouldn't move baby birds back into their nests if they've fallen or otherwise wandered away because the mother will smell that they've been touched and reject them. Why do people think this? My parents told me this when I was really small and even for a while as an adult, I believed it. Then one day I'm reading this article about common animal myths and bam, I think it started as a lie to tell kids so they don't mess with random wildlife and get diseases. Then somewhere along the way, people started believing it. Squidward is an octopus, not a squid. Today I learned that Squidward is a disabled, deformed, and defigured octopus. So the whole premise of the show was based on mankind's industrial pollution of the sea, explains the other characters too. I thought it was that like Bikini Bottom was technically near like a nuclear testing site, so that's why they're all talking and weird. That everything happens for a reason. Some things are just f***ed. That vampires exist. I have never seen an actual vampire in my 1300 years of my life, and I likely never will. See, the joke there is they can't see themselves because they are a vampire and they're lying. Being cold makes you sick. Going to bed with wet hair will make you sick. Salt is always causes high blood pressure. What do girls do when they like a dude? Tell you 10 years later when you are married. Oof, that's gotta hurt. Fly back to the hive and dance in a circle to communicate it to the other girls. I asked him out. Seemed a lot easier than guessing. Literally nothing that you guys have said hap- Oh, I'm in the same boat. Like, damn, have I f***ed up? Rough realizations here on Reddit. I'll try to be around him and talk. Embark on a series of deliberately obscure and easily missable cues as a test of his worthiness. Keeping a written tally in a secret journal and enlisting all nearby girls into a cabal to track his movements and report on his every move until a final score is determined at a council of girls meeting held in the secret chambers accessible only via the ladies' bathroom. Or feel slightly awkward around him and vaguely embarrassed about it. This whole thread gives me absolute zero hope of ever knowing if a woman is ever interested. Literally nothing. So I guess most women are really into me. Leave some for the rest of us. Gather a great pagan army and invade England. I'm in IT. I've had multiple women admit to me after we started dating that they would manufacture IT problems as an excuse to come talk to me. One woman even had her dog bite her laptop screen. That seems like it's pushing a little far, but sure. Keep it as a secret. I never told guys that I liked that I actually like them. Yeah, I mean, that would just be insane and crazy. I mean, why would you do that, right? I would walk up to him and ask if he's single. If he says yes, I'd ask him out. This is how I got my current boyfriend. Girls like you actually exist? They exist, but remember, not for people like me and you. What is your favorite opening line in a song? She keeps her moet et chandon in her pretty cabinet. Let them eat cake, she said, just like Mary Antoinette. Ground control to Major Tom. Check engine light on. On. I don't remember the lines. <laughs> We're no strangers to love. You should know the rules by now. I hurt myself today. Now are you talking Nine Inch Nails or Johnny Cash? Mother, do you think they'll drop the bomb? I'm honestly not sure what this one is. Hello darkness, my old friend. Do you remember the 21st night? 
Is this the real life? Is this just fantasy? Caught in a landslide? No escape from reality? What's with these homies dissing my girl? Ooga chaka, ooga chaka, ooga 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 chaka. What is the best book you've ever read? Endurance, Shackleton's Incredible Voyage by Albert Lansing. The fact that it's true allows it to hit that much harder. East of Eden, Slaughterhouse Five. I don't think I enjoyed a book more than Foundation by Isaac Asimov. Ishmael by Daniel Quinn. It really changed the way that I see the world. The book Thief. It made me laugh and it made me cry. But most importantly, it made me view life very differently. How easy the world is when you don't have to worry about the war slash world of war around you. I've heard equally Thousand Splendid Sons and Kite Runner are very good and both are on my TBR. By sheer enjoyment factor, Red Wall back when I was in middle school. Into Thin Air is Brain Candy. Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. The Hobbit. In 1976, every day after a lunch recess, we all gathered on the floor in our grade 2 classroom to listen to Miss Stevens read The Hobbit to us, to find my worldview. To this day, I feel it is the most important thing a teacher has ever done for me. The Handmaid's Tale. I'm sorry for not commenting on a lot of those. I'm not an avid reader. Uh, I barely read. What are some unspoken rules in the gym? Never make eye contact with anyone in the locker room while changing or taking a shower. Every men's locker room has to have at least one naked old guy walking around without a towel. Old people must think, eh, I've lived long enough, what are they gonna do? Don't stand too close to the dumbbell rack and block other people. That just sounds like a courtesy rule. Don't use the treadmill right next to mine when there are five other unoccupied ones. Same goes for bathroom stuff. Put your weights back. Once done. Do people really just leave them laying around? Like, come on. Don't make fun of people who are in bad shape. Edit. This rarely happens, so don't let this be another excuse to not improve your health. I've been going to the gym for a while, and I have never overheard someone making fun of another for being overweight, unless it was friends just clowning on each other. I think a lot of people believe they will be judged, and that deters them, and it shouldn't. And unless you're working out in cowboy boots or an inflatable costume, it's extremely unlikely anyone cares how another person looks. What TV show's intro song is an absolute banger? X-Men The Animated Series. I haven't seen that show a lot, but I still hear the theme song. Do -do 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 <laughs> DuckTales. True Detective Season 1. Succession is a banger, boy. I don't know why I gave a frat bro voice because I weirdly don't see frat bros watching Succession. The OC. The X-Files has a great intro. I used to get freaked out by the song Alone when I was just a little kid, so I say that's pretty good. Vikings. Peaky Blinders. Yes, no, maybe. I don't know. Can you repeat the question? You're not the boss of me now! I hope you all liked that rendition of Malcolm in the Middle because, oh, my, that hurt my throat a little bit. What should women be allowed to do without being judged? Exercise, exist, and eat a banana in public. I personally think everyone should be able to eat a banana in public, or maybe even at a banana republic. Ask for a pad or tampon. It's a little ridiculous people have shamed women for so long about a thing that just happens to their bodies, they don't choose to do it. Taking a poo. I'm sorry, are we judging people? people when they poop now? Fart. I dated a girl who farted one time in front of me and started crying because it's so gross. Like, no girly, you gotta let that gas out. Age. As if men age better than women. Like, come on. Not using makeup. Having only used makeup a few times in my life, it is a chore. So if a woman doesn't want to put it on, who cares? Decision to have kids or not. Specifically if you're a man trying to weigh in on this whole situation, uh, shut up. Not having hair. We really just just bully women for no reason, huh? She should absolutely be allowed to have proper sized pockets in her clothes. Clothing industry, make pockets for women's pants, please. Being single, especially older and single. I gotta go put some ice on my throat, so uh, I thank you all so much for watching. Once again, my name is Brandon, and I'll talk to you some other day. Adios!